Hi everyone, so I am cooking dinner. I am cooking tacos tonight. And I know I haven't made a video in quite a while. I've been busy with this new puppy and my anxiety has been through the roof. And yeah, just a lot has been going on. Um, I went to the psychiatrist last Thursday and they added a medicine called Buspar. And the, um, the generic is called Buspirone. And I have already felt better on it. They have me on 10 milligrams the first week and then I'll be on 20 milligrams the second week. And then from then on out, I'll be on 20 milligrams. So, um, just craziness, just craziness happening lately with the new puppy and with the stress. It's just been absolutely crazy. So, uh, but you guys are in my kitchen and, um, I'm just, like I said, cooking tacos and I can make a video real quick. Um, it'll pro probably be only five minutes long, but how's everybody doing? Um, yeah, my, my dad, he actually introduced me to this thing called, it's a supplement called magnesium glycinate and it's supposed to be really good for anxiety and depression. No, it's it, for anxiety and stress. And actually, I think it's working, and I think the buspirone is helping. And those in conjunction, I feel like, are really helping. And so, yeah, I am just over the moon thankful and happy and joyful that I'm finally starting to feel better. Um, let me switch hands here. Um, now, yesterday was a terrible day. Yesterday was an absolutely terrible day. Sunday and today is now Monday. Yesterday was a day straight from Satan. I don't know what it was, but I freaked out at about four in the afternoon. My dad had to come pick me up and I had to, uh, we had to go to dinner at Drake's and then me and my husband had to go to the store at 9.30 at night and it took about an hour and a half to get all the food and and um hold on sorry my husband was talking um but yeah so I lost my train of thought anyways but, um, the, I'm going to switch the subject. Um, the magnesium glycinate, I'm really thankful my dad has shown me that because I think it's helping with my anxiety and I've got to, I am cooking beef right now and I've got a kind of, uh, move it around so it doesn't burn. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm just really thankful. Oh, yesterday, I was talking about yesterday. Yesterday was a day straight from Satan himself. We went to the store at like 9.30 at night and we got out at 10.30 and then my husband, I had to pick up medicine for him and it was a 15 minute wait. We didn't end up going to bed till around almost one in the morning Sunday night. And it was just, it was hell on earth. I was losing my mind. And we had to be up at around 6.30 in the morning because he has work and I drive him to work right now because um, he works at the hospital and he cannot find a, um, he cannot find a spot um, a parking spot because, um, there's so many people working there in the morning. So he's going to go to third, he's going to go to third shift soon, um, after about a month and then I won't be taking him to work. So, but yes, folks, yesterday was a day straight from Satan. It was awful. And today I got two chores, two big chores that I've had to get done 
um, that's been on my list. I've had, I, I vacuumed the floor today and I, uh, cleaned the bathroom sink and that in itself just made me feel so happy that I accomplished it. And I am just so thankful to God that, you know, I've been going through mental health issues since I've been 15 years old, but like I told my therapist, I felt like my life was stolen from me at a young age. And I, I, I still do believe that, but I do believe that I wouldn't be as close to the Lord right now if it wasn't for all those problems that I've had. And, um, you know, I'm still trying to find the right medications. It's been many, many, many years trying medications, um, getting off medications, um, going in the hospital, them changing medications again and just adjusting and everything. So, you know, I know everything has a purpose and I feel like God is slowly adding back the years that have been taken away from me when I was a teenager. So I just want to tell everybody, don't give up hope. God is still good. He's always working behind the scenes. If you need help from a doctor, get help from a doctor. Don't be prideful. If you need help, get the help you need. And, you know, just don't give up hope. God is still good. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So just don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. The morning will come. New days will come. If you're thinking about suicide, don't do it because even though it might be a really bad day today, tomorrow you could wake up and it could be a way better day, a great day even. So don't give up hope because just to, if anybody wants to take their life, don't do it because the next day could be a wonderful day. Two days later could be a really good day. Just do not take your life, please. And I just want to say, just don't give up hope. God is still good. God is always working behind the scenes. And take care of yourself. Eat. Take a shower. Take care of yourself. Um, you know, do a, do a house chore if you can. If you can't, then do it. Try to do a house chore um, the next day. Um, but just one thing at a time, just do one thing at a time, one day at a time, one, one moment at a time. So just don't give up hope and God is still good. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. And thank you for listening to me. And this is my update on my life and subscribe if you want. Um, this is just a channel that I talk, I, I know that someone at least wants, I know at least one person will see this. And if it helps that person, then this channel is worth it. So I'll catch you in my next video. All right. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.